It's not an easy thing to bring 110 dancers from Moscow's famed Bolshoi Ballet all the way to Zellerbach Hall in Berkeley. It's taken Cal Performance's director Robert Cole 15 years to pull it off. But now, opening night has finally arrived. Since he started here in 1986, Robert has transformed Cal Performances into a performing arts venue that rivals Carnegie Hall or the Kennedy Center. I had this idea to make this place more like a London, New York, or Paris, where the greatest artists come from all over the world. And so that was my goal when I came here, and that's what we've been working on ever since. With the 2,000-seat Zellerbach Hall right on the Berkeley campus, Robert recognized that he had a corner on the only available theater of its kind in the region. So he set out to expand the number and variety of performances. And during his 18-year tenure, ticket sales have risen from 700,000 to over $6 million this season. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Marilyn, how are you doing? Hi, Gordon. It's the brains that makes the whole thing work. Brains and the brawn. And the brawn, yeah. <laughs> When necessary. When necessary. Hi there. How are you? How are you? Nice, nice to, see to see you. Nice to see you. I want to introduce you to An impresario like Robert is an alchemist. You know, they're a little bit of practical, uh, nuts and bolts thinking, um, a little bit of intellect, and then a great deal of magic. Robert started out his career as a high school music teacher and part-time conductor, struggling to support his young family and advance his professional ambitions at the same time. When I was a conductor, I, I was very young, but I ran the orchestra. I mean, I raised the money, I organized the board of directors, I <clears throat> did all those things, and I conducted it. And I did that with a number. I did that with a little opera company, I did it with a ballet company. So I kind of did all of that stuff when I was conducting. So, Mark, yes. wh what are we going to do? It's all taken care Robert of. Robert still gets to test his out. chops from time to time. Tonight, he's conducting the orchestra for The Hard Nut, Mark Morris's sardonic take on the holiday ballet classic. It's a job he has faithfully carried out ever since he first brought the production to Berkeley in 1996. I'm a performer, I'm an impresario, and so I'm involved at a different level than just a manager. That's a, that's a place to, if you could make the quarter notes short, you know. I know what it's like uh, to be on the stage. So when uh, an artist comes in the hall and they're sort of like, you know, not, they're a little bit quiet, I know why they're a little bit quiet. You know, they've got to do something really big. Things changed for Robert in the 1970s when he moved to New York and began presenting companies like the New York City Ballet and the Dance Theater of Harlem. Uh, the Hilton Hotel on 6th Avenue, Avenue of the Americas. Neely, Robert Cole here. I've been, been trying to reach you. Where are you staying? Across the Warwick. So am I. Let's meet in the Every Warwick. January, Robert okay. returns to New York along with the thousands of agents, managers, and fellow presenters from around the world who descend on the city for the annual Arts Presenters Conference. Um, December 04, we talked about? December 04. That's good. Well, the Arts Presenters Conference is the most active meeting of the minds that we have all year, and so much is compressed into three days' time. Ninety percent of our, our job is accomplished in those three days in New York. Hey. Hi, Hi, John. How are you doing? Good. Now we're going to put Concert Spiritual here on Friday. Well, my primary responsibility is to find great talent and get it on the stage. And, of course, to make it all balance financially. That's the other big part of my job. We've got the big, great idea of going after Peter Gabriel here. Arla Guthrie. I have a press release for you, Hollis, if you'd like. This is Enrique Morente and Estrella Morente. Enrique Morente is one of the big, big masters in flamenco. What's the month? Ethel and Berkeley, Cal performances, were born to coexist. I, 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 can, I can squeeze you in wherever is good uh, for you. But, you know, we're interested in B Brazilian work. Sonambula is not done very often. No. Any place. No. No more. <laughs> not for that year. The challenge is to... Uh, keep focus during the few hours that we have here. You know, there are thousands of artists worldwide that we're interested in. Thousands and thousands. And only a few are really the ones that we want. And so to narrow that down to those few 
is the challenge. You're the first time. So we have like 30 gypsies coming in oh. from Romania, Bulgaria, and Hungary to Brooklyn. All my favorite places. Yeah, and they're all staying in your house. Yeah, so I with my grandson. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right here. That's it. Gypsy spirit. What do you want? This? I want this. And if I can have this, I'll take that too. So we're going to get the first performance? You're the first one. I mean, we've done it before in Budapest, but it's never been done in America. It's not just our idea. It's about the audience, what, what they want and what they'd like to see. But we want it to have the best. Over the years, the New York Conference has enabled Robert to bring little-known acts from over 50 countries to the Berkeley stage. In fact, world music and dance is a key to his success. By capitalizing on the uniquely diverse population of the Bay Area, he's attracted brand new audiences to Cal performances. There are artists you've never heard of. They're not written about here, but there's a whole bunch of people <laughs> here in the Bay Area that know who these people are. And it's, it's terrific when you actually bring them here and the place is full. <laughs> I think it was a great performance, Mark. It's another brilliant performance. And the fact that you can bring this back together each year is, always amazes me. These days, it's not enough for Robert to simply be a presenter. He now takes on the role of producer as well, assuming the much greater financial risk needed for artists like Mark Morris to create entirely new productions that will premiere at Cal Performances. I, I, in a way, I hit it lucky because I happened to see Mark in 1985 in New York in a, you know, one performance and I was just knocked out. I can do anything I want. Robert will, no questions asked, put on the piece I'm working on. It's like I'm working on a new dance. When do we get it at Berkeley? Or is this a premiere? Sure, I'll be there with a new dance. It's about hitting the floor. It's not about stopping in B+. I hate that. Part of our agreement is that, that he'll bring a world premiere to this theater each year. That's a special kind of relationship. We come back here all the time because we're valued and appreciated and attended. And that's a really big deal. I firmly believe that doing great things is going to bring people to this theater. Uh, you know, sometimes greatness comes at a price. You have to pay for it. But sometimes also it's just being there first. Um, today's show is Cecilia Bartoli. Um, it's our big show for the year. Um, today is completely sold out, and we'd like you all to be on your best behavior today. The tickets are like around $250, so it's our big show. Um, In 1991, Robert booked a little-known soprano named Cecilia Bartoli at Cal Performances. Her career has been phenomenal, and uh, we have been fortunate to be part of it. She's been here in recital, I believe, more than any place else in the country. People adore her, especially those people who've followed her career over the years and from the times that she first sang here. Having Cecilia here at this point in her career is good for her and it's good for Cal performances. So it's, it's a win-win situation, as they say. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Oh, so fabulous. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Bob. That's, that's great. all? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, what an audience here. Oh, fabulous. Fantastic.